It's a great day in sports analytics. I'm Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the sports analytics three minute drill, where I break down sports analytic methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today, I'm gonna to discuss weighted Voronoi diagrams, and I'm gonna discuss the NBA research conducted by Dan Cervoni, Luke Bourne, and Kurt Goldsberry. So let's get started. In mathematics, a weighted Voronoi diagram in n dimensions is a special case of a Voronoi diagram. Voronoi cells in a weighted Voronoi diagram are defined in terms of a distance function. The distance function may specify the usual Euclidean distance or may be some other special distance function. Usually, the distance function is a function of the generator point's weights. NBA Court Realty The regions on a basketball court can be looked at as if they were realty. How valuable is the realty that a player has control over? Which region does the player need to take control of next in order to help facilitate a chance of scoring? Do players always make the best decision when choosing which space to occupy? A weighted Voronoi diagram is built to determine which regions of the court are the most valuable and to quantify decisions made by the players regarding the space they occupy or want to occupy. The first step is to divide the court up into spaces that measure approximately 2 feet by 2 feet. The next step is to determine the value of each space. This is done by looking at which spaces seem to be preferred by the players. Spaces that contain many players are considered more valuable than spaces occupied by a lone player. One way to evaluate the spaces is to analyze the passes between them. When a player passes the ball to a teammate, they feel that the space their teammate occupies is more valuable than the one they occupy themselves. By looking at the passes each team makes, it is possible to determine which spaces are valued the most by teams and any variation that exists, as not every team places the same value on each space. The weighted Voronoi diagram can be altered to look at the individual players and which spaces they consider to have the highest value. Once each space on the court has been given a value, possession can be analyzed to determine if the players are maximizing that value. This allows possessions to be compared by their value. Are players maximizing the value? If not, this is something that can be practiced in order to improve the player's decision making in future games. In conclusion, the value of space occupied by the offense and defense can be compared. This would evaluate which team is making the better choices. Coaches could analyze this data in order to improve the decisions their players make regarding which space they want to occupy. Coaches would be able to see which spaces are preferred by individual players and help determine if players are maximizing their space. Coaches could also look at which spaces their opponents favor. This would aid in determining the best defensive strategy to limit the opponent's points. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.